Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Breath comes in, think of it coming in throughout the whole body. When it goes out, it goes out throughout the whole body. Dissolving away any tension, dissolving away any tightness or sense of blockage in the body. Did you feel at ease in your skin? This is an important skill to develop because you need it in all kinds of circumstances. In the course of the day when anger comes up, someone says something or does something that gets you angry, you know you're not supposed to express the anger. Because when you're angry, you don't really see things for what they are. You're, you develop tunnel vision. And even though you have tunnel vision, you all sorts of things come to mind that you might like to say and might like to do, and you've lost your sense of shame, you've lost your sense of compunction. In other words, something that seems really the right thing to say, it would feel really good to say it, then you realize a few days afterwards that it was actually the wrong thing to say and you regret it for a long time. So it's important when anger comes up like that that you don't just bottle it up. If you express it, you get into trouble. If you bottle it up, you get into trouble. So what do you do? Well, you learn how to breathe through it. At least breathe through the physical manifestations, the tension in the body. Keep your hands relaxed, keep your feet relaxed, because that's where the fight or flight Hormones are going. They're tensing up your hands, tensing up your feet, getting you ready to hit or run or kick. So you've got to relax that response. You keep relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. And as you relax it, you find that you, your anger is not so oppressive. Because usually what happens, so who suffers from your anger? You're the one who suffers from the anger. And someone said once said, it's like you want to throw coals at somebody. Well, it's a burning coal. You pick it up in your hand. Who's getting burnt? You're the one who's getting burnt from the burning coal. And at the same time, you realize that if you act on the anger, you're going to do all sorts of stupid things. And if you can, even if you have trouble thinking goodwill for the other person, at least you can tell yourself, well, if I'm angry, I'm going to end up doing stupid things that are going to please my enemy. Do I want that? I'm going to act in a stupid way. I look ugly when I'm angry. I destroy my wealth. I destroy my friendships. And that sort of thing would please my enemy. Do I want to please my enemy? If nothing else can keep your anger under control, try thinking that. And then as you find the physical manifestations calm down, as you breathe through them, then you can start thinking about what is actually the right thing to say right now. Because you don't have that oppressive sense that you've just got to get it out of your system. Because usually what you get out of your system is, is stuff that's toxic. And it's not going to help the situation at all. So use the breath meditation. We practice breath meditation every time we sit down and close our eyes. But the important thing is it's not just while your eyes are closed and you're sitting very still that you practice these techniques. There are skills you're going to need throughout the day, wherever you go, whatever you encounter. You can carry a sense of well-being around with you, and it's a lot easier to act and do and say and think the skillful thing when you're coming from that sense of well-being. So it's not just that you, as one of my students once said, throw out your garbage when you sit and meditate. You don't want to be collecting garbage in the course of the day anyhow. Most of us go through the day, and that's what we are, like a big garbage pail. Someone says something, we keep it. Someone else says something we don't like, and we keep that too, and you just get filled up with garbage. If you're not careful to dump it out every day, you get all kinds of weird things growing in your garbage pail. But it's even better not to collect them at all. Cut a hole through the garbage pail so everything just goes right through, right through. So if someone says something you don't like, well, that's their right. They have every right to speak. Just let it go right through. Don't keep it in your mind. Don't make it your karma. If it's their karma, it's bad karma, you don't want it. So just let it be theirs and leave it that at that. Make sure that you do the right thing to maintain your sense of well-being and maintain your determination that whatever happens, you're going to do or say or think the skillful thing. That determination is what keeps you safe and keeps you on the right track.